Welcome to my ghetto land symbolizes the tenements that we see in most of our cities across this nation. The tenement has become a temple. The symbol of the temple in this instance relates to our ancestral beginnings in the ancient world of Africa. When I think of the, these wonderful tenements which are seen in decay, I see our people migrating from Africa to the Americas let me just say it's like a diaspora. It, it, I see them moving from the African continent and into these cities and actually recoloring everything in sight. And what, what I mean by recoloring is that, that uh, our people tend to, to have a a spirit about them in the way that they dress, the way that they move, the way that they go about living uh, their life. Now, what's important here is that these are portraits of life seen in the windows of the tenement. These are portraits of life being lived. They are the cycles of life we see from birth to death going on in this one tenement. I felt that it was important for me to create what I call sacred images and what I mean by sacred, that this is, it gets into the whole notion of the shrine. The scale is small because I wanted to uh, come up with um, something that one could hold in their hands and become purely intimate with uh, the piece. I chose to do an icon which of course gets into the Byzantine as well as uh, Ethiopian miniature uh, paintings. I use the technique of fresco painting, which means that I actually applied uh, more than 20 coats of gesso, which is really like plaster. Uh, the gesso that I used in this case uh, really uh, uh, consisted of uh, crushed marble as well as an animal skin binder. The panel actually, it's tempered masonite and I've applied gesso as I said to the tempered masonite and have actually incised designs, which means I scratched the surface to incise designs into the panel. I also applied thin sheets of gold leaf. And after applying this, the sheets of gold leaf, I began to paint, use layers of paint. Um, in this instance, it's temper paint, and that's really following in the tradition of fresco painting on uh, damp plaster. The back is also finished, and this is interesting. This is an interesting technique because what I did was to take doll house shingles <laughs> and lay them on in such a manner that this would appear as a brick wall, which has been uh, uh, painted with uh, uh, with some uh, graffiti. On the lower left side, you see 
a portrait of a young girl who appears in this uh, window. She is like the initiate who is being inducted into a society of women. This is the symbol of new life. In the doorway is a woman seen in red dress. She is beckoning to you as if to welcome you to participate or to come in to the tenement to participate in uh, and meet the people who live within this uh, dwelling. She is seen standing with hand on hip, with hand extended. This is a typical Congo African way of greeting people. She's a very strong figure. She is a no-nonsense woman. There are two figures at the bottom of the uh, tenement by the doorway. These are actually the supports for the, the tenement. They are pygmies. I chose to use the pygmies as the support of, of, of the tenement because they, to me, are the oldest group living in Africa, probably the most ancient group of all. And they are a source of beginnings of blackness. At the very top of the tenement, you will see a sun image. This is a symbol not only of beginnings, but also of resurrection and the continuation of life. What I'm saying here is that even in spite of death and decay, there is also resurrection and new life which can come about if we are together as a people and are willing to seek a new adventure. 